New statistics tonight in the COVID-19 vaccine effort. Tennessee is among the bottom five of all states in percentage of residents to have at least one dose so far. It's estimated around 70% of the population needs to be vaccinated in order to return to quote normalcy. We wanted to find out why some people are hesitant about getting the shot. Our Meredith Alness joins us live in the studio with more of some of the most common objections from the area. Meredith. Greg, we wanted to see why residents were choosing not to get the vaccine in one of the lowest participating counties in our viewing area, Sequatchie County. There were a lot of the same answers and their main reason for misgivings, trust. It was more of a sure thing. I don't plan on getting it though. About a third of residents in Tennessee have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. In the Channel 3 viewing area, only two counties are above that percentage. Hamilton County and Meigs County. Lisa Morgan works at Erlanger and says she's vaccinated, but knows a lot of her community members who are choosing not to. A lot of people who are very old fashioned and don't get flu shots. They don't they don't get a lot of medical care in general and they wait until they're very sick to get any kind of medical care. And I, th I think there's a lot of mistrust with the government and just not getting good information out here. Kimber Freeman is one of Morgan's neighbors who doesn't get the flu shot and doesn't plan to get the COVID vaccine either. I just don't like how when you get the vaccine and stuff, how it like in, you know, injects it like into your body where it gives it to you like, and then it you get sick and I just I don't plan on not getting it. Doctors say vaccines cannot give you COVID-19. The CDC says they help keep you from getting the virus and help build protection. Robin Steinbach, another resident in Sequatchie County, says she's debating on getting the shot. I mean, it's good for if it protects you and everything, but I've heard so many things if you take it. What's going to happen in the future? Are you going to have any side effects later? Studies show common side effects are tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. They should go away in a few days. Some people have no side effects. Long-term side effects following any vaccination are extremely rare. Morgan encourages everyone to get the vaccine. She says her neighbors don't quite understand the importance. You need to get it to protect the people around you who may, you may not get very sick from it. it. You may be fine, but you might accidentally infect someone else that may not be fine. If you are hesitant, reach out to your doctor. We have the list of vaccination sites and how to make an appointment inside the WRCB app under the vaccine tracker tab. Reporting live in the studio, Meredith Aldish, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.